Uh, by the way, I'd just like to carry on uh, what I started at in, uh, on the stage. Um, I'm a big shout out for everyone in Florida. You know, they must be going through a, a, a hell of a time right now. You know, the, this Hurricane Irma is getting everyone on the on, on the situation that and a lot of the, is, 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 has been the biggest evacuation in the US, USA of all times. That's crazy. You know, I have a lot of friends out there. I like to send all my good support and my, my prayers to all of you guys and I keep safe. Don't play with Mother Nature, you know. Mother Nature is stronger than anyone, yeah. so respect it. Likewise, it's terrifying, man. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you can just only flee. That's about it. And it's so good that uh, AJ Souza decided to stay and keep with the family strong bond. So yeah, I, I wouldn't that. be able to leave neither. Yeah, would you? I respect that. No, absolutely not. Family is more. Best of luck to everyone and for all the victims of this hurricane. And let's just hope for the best. Back to the match. One meter mark is gone. Hugo already pulled guard and. Um, Tiago is approached for the pass. A little bit loose out there, a little bit too much space, and made a, uh, uh, a chance to... Hugo could have made the, the division below. He normally fights as a lightweight, so he probably could have made a 75 kilo, having had a little more notice. But he was a, a replacement for Kit Dale, who couldn't Correct. get his visa, so he just took the opportunity. Well, he got a contract with ACB. Good for him. It's a, it's a, good, a good step. Absolutely. He's an upcomer. Uh, Tiago Sai is already a little bit more uh, experienced than him. He's already been on the surf for a long time. Very good attempt for the guillotine over there. And Tiago Sai with that guillotine. Yeah, man, it's going to be... That's going to be a very close match. I like this. I like this. Very much. Tiago Sai is a monster on top. That's what he's known for. Really strong top game. And they all very So we see a lot of exchanges today, and that's what I like to see, especially so much. Uh, fascinating what it is, right? Absolutely. Faltam three minutes. Broly, what do you normally do when your opponent's sitting down? Do you fight for the hands? you try to fight for the feet? What's your approach? If you're Chavo Sa, what's your approach There's there? There's a few things that I like to do. I think if the guy sits too sad, I like to do some jumping guillotine, jumping yeah. kimuras, you yeah. know, jumping to the side and yeah. stand over to the opposite direction. And, um, or lifting the heel so I keep I was just going to say, that's normally my favorite ground. approach, is try to get his feet off the ground. Yeah. Because if they're back, their back's on the ground, they're not really dangerous. But yeah. when they're sitting up like the, that, they're so dangerous. They can go for single legs, they can go for the underhooks, they can go for the... Uh, heel hooks, single legs. Sometimes they'll jump to guillotine from the bottom. If you put your head too low... Here we go, try. like that. Yeah. I'd much rather see how Ugo sets up immediately, right? Yeah, we can tell. We can tell that he's yes, arm drag is right there. He's, he's shorter than uh, Tiago Sá, but he's very uh, beefy. Yeah, exactly. He's well, yeah, yeah definitely stock here. Bora, Hugo. Bora, he so probably didn't. That was two. Oh, Tiago not happy about that. You can see him definitely. Yeah. This the thing is all about timing. You gotta be so quick on that guard pull. That's one thing I, I drill out with my students for a competition, is practicing guard pull. There's an art to it, man. It's not just sitting to the ground. Hugo was on point on that because he could notice he made uh, Thiago Sabi with an excellent pulling guard because he pulled all the time. Yeah. He pulled three times, and then when it was the time he went, he head. Very smart. I, I think you can expect to see a very aggressive Thiago from now on. Uh, sweeping Hugo is not gonna be easy. Yeah, Hugo had a couple wars with uh, Hinato Kanutu at uh, No Gi Worlds and Gi Worlds last year. And uh, both matches were fairly close. Um, yeah, man, they, they put her on really good fights. So I was hoping to see Hinato here, maybe next one. Ugo with the top pressure there. See that now, the both knees on the ground stance is such good defense. Uh, offensively, I'm not crazy about it, but he can really just kind of keep your opponent at bay. It's very frustrating for the bottom guy if you can't get him to come forward. You can't get him underneath him. 20 seconds to go. Hugo Max winning the round. Absolutely, especially short notice. Boa! Nice Thiago with the scramble, late attack. This could be bad for Hugo with the 50 50. With the second sweep. Oh, very nice move there by Thiago. 
That was so close to that knee bar. A few more seconds to work, that could have been a submission. Jago saw with the white and blue shorts. Hugo with the purple shorts. You can expect Hugo to be a little more patient now. He's got the lead. He's won the first round. It was a 10-9. Man, you can see the guys just pouring sweat there. It's got to be super hot on stage. Tiago studying. Hugo, they're studying each other. They both decide to sit at that one minute mark. It's gonna be a kick down. Nice, nice. He's gotta stay on top, he's gotta hold him. It's well Hugo going everybody. out of bounds there. I think thiago has got the points. Thiago is going for the for the more offensive this time. Yeah, Thiago Sarge just stalking Hugo there. I thought he was going to get those points. Uh, me too. Thiago Sarge just stepping into that single X. Ah, nice heel hook attempt by Thiago Sarge. Now it's Hugo's turn. Ah, once the knee is free, it's, it's, he's out. That's a sweep, though. That's a sweep for Hugo. Very nice, Hugo. Surprised Thiago didn't try to stand up there. We need a second round again. That's putting Thiago in a very bad spot for Thiago. So he kind of stepped into that single X just to go for the heel hook. I thought that was slick. Tiago needs to turn it on this round. He's got two and a half minutes. Uh, the reverse the score, pull off a submission. Nice attempt there by Hugo. Pressure, pressure. He's, man, he's a monster. Good defense there by Tiago. Tiago saw in half guard there, going for the leg attack. Uh, he was at that uh, arm well in the middle. By yeah. Yeah. Very well defended. He did some point of defense in the heel hooks and knee bars. Yeah. So he kept his left arm in between Thiago's legs. It stops Thiago from clamping his legs together. So now it's like your legs are split. Right? It's going to be very hard to get a good good latch on the, on the legs. <laughs> round two. Hugo winning this round as well. Thiago saw trying to get underneath him. No luck. Yeah, Hugo doing a really good job defending himself. But still attacking. You know, he's not just waiting for Thiago to attack and just countering. He's being aggressive as well. The game plan for Hugo here is just to remain aggressive on top, stay sharp on those leg attacks, make sure Thiago does not get underneath him, right? And moving forward the whole time. Thiago's the one that's got to open up and really change gears here. Thiago on bottom, very aggressive guard. 
Se concentra, um volta minuto um minuto. Cravado, um minuto cravado. Deixa ele, faz força agora aí, irmão. Não erra aí. Fam Hugo here. I'll get those hands off the ground. I hate those. What do you think people think? I, I, nothing ah, good has ever come from putting your hands on the ground inside someone's clothes guard. Uh, the best thing like to do this. Yeah, the best thing that can happen is nothing. That's the best case scenario. It's just holding for yeah. the time to finish. Yeah. But even uh, you, I, I believe if you want to hold, there are better ways of holding than just like I really like placing your arms you, you're there. You're very good on that. Yeah, I, I love it. Like I, I, when people put that arm there, I'm just like, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's a gift, you know. And that's why you don't put it. Probably. Because you know the dangers <laughs> of it. Probably. I don't like it. I have good yeah. advice from that too because yeah. I, 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 I spent a lot of time in my career uh, fighting from the close guard. Yeah. So I know the dangers of keeping the arm over there. So I'd rather not do I that just got at back all. in the close guard, man. Crazy. I just come around, right? Full circle. I feel like my games aren't resemble my, my blue belt game when it was all closed guard. I love closed guard. Ten seconds to go. Hugo surprising. Second round win so far. Thiago getting aggressive there. In the round two. Second win for Hugo. Thiago is in trouble. 100 plus competitions under their belt. You know, like I didn't have that much competition no, when I was. I mean, when I, I remember, like, being a teenager in Vegas, we had like two competitions a year. And in Sao Paulo, we had more, but today, like, you can literally compete every weekend if you're willing to drive. If you want to, yeah. If you're willing to fly and get out there. And competition um, really does bring a level up. Oh, absolutely. You know what it is? Like, when you train, you don't always check yourself, right? You fail in, in practice, you get swept. You don't always go back home and, you, you know, you don't spend hours thinking about it. You Everyone lose competition. Knows game. You know everyone's every game. You know, and it is a very good thermometer when you go out there. Yes, and a really way of exposing yourself and, you know, making mistakes so you can correct them later. 25 seconds to the minute mark. Let's see if Thiago is going to keep the top, the bottom position. He's going to try to change the game now. If you want Thiago, what would you do now on this game? Uh, if I were Thiago, man, I would be very aggressive with the wrestling, but more with the intention of creating a scramble, maybe going for a heel hook off the shot going for that Imanari role like he needs he needs a, a scramble to the back or a scramble to a leg lock um, here we go that was yeah. just on time on point Hugo is, is, is very, yeah, very comfortable, comfortable top and bottom Thiago just got that's, that's good position. I would rather be on top of Thiago than underneath him so if I were Hugo I would not pull guard because like Thiago's an animal on top but hey you know, anything can happen fish for that yeah he wants the leg Nice oh, escape by Hugo. Oh, this time of the, of, of the game, you know, both guys are very sweaty, very slippery. It's really hard to get some tight grips on them. Absolutely. That's the thing about those leg locks. you got to get that bite above the knee. It's got to be tight. Hugo's been doing a really good job staying good of all those leg attacks. He's just not giving Thiago much to work with. That's the problem. You know, it's not that Thiago's not trying. It's not that his skill set's not there. Ugo's doing such an incredible job of giving Thiago absolutely nothing to work with. You can see uh, Ugo's not letting Thiago get, not, not, not make him uncomfortable at all. It's like he's still getting close to get the position. He's pushing out. That's a good heel hook up see, camp. The knee is free once again. Ugo's playing really smart. You don't make mistake at all. You don't let oh, Thiago with the pass there. Good world escape. That's one of the most annoying things. Just so close to that headlock, that guillotine. The guy just stands up and backs away. Look at the game. Those guys doing. They know well. They know well what they're doing. the rules. Absolutely. Look at that. They follow him. Whatever Thiago does, he's doing so to don't get the points because he wanted to go. Smart. Hugo looking at the clock. It's two minutes and 15 seconds away from securing this win. Yeah, he could be very quick. Good transitions. But what I think he would Nice no, sweep there from Thiago. Uh, that will be two. For sure. Now, he, Thiago has one minute and 50 seconds to be able to score another five points to win because he already did the heel hook attacks Correct. and the guillotine attacks in the last round. So he has the advantage on the submissions. So if he, if he can score 10, 
and then it could go this yes but here's the thing I think this this explains why Ugo did not try to scramble from that sweep he was kind of content because you know Thiago has a very tough mission ahead of him which is scoring five points from that or a submission Ugo's very comfortable on bottom with those double yeah, hooks especially he doesn't want to let Thiago do I, I, I think the referee will do something about it there we go yeah that's a penalty penalty for Ugo but when see he let go as soon as the referee gave him the penalty Thiago One minute to get this points. He has to get five points. If he gets, if Thiago gets five points, he wins that. Match. For the reason that Hugo has twenty against eighteen. Yes. So if he, Thiago scores five points now, that will give him seven points lead, which is going to give ten eight in the round, which is going to give him a draw. And, and remember, submission attempts are the that's criteria, and long. Thiago is winning. He's had more submission attempts. So that's the game, guys, that you will have to be looking into. It. It's not and only the, the fight of the, of the round, but how to get to the... To and the, the thing is, you have to be, we're thinking about this, we're not in there, right? But like those guys have to be aware of all of this while they're grappling. Juggling. And you have the anxiety of competition, and the crowd, and everything's going on. You have the time and your coaches are yelling at you. A good competitor is someone who can stay calm and pay attention to all these things without, you know, making any tactical mistakes. Just a lot going on. Seconds to go. And second slap. It looks like Hugo will take this victory. It's time. Great win by Hugo. Took the fight, short notice, still pulled it off. Thiago saw obviously very frustrated. Your winner, Hugo.